if x is a positive integer is x factorial plus x plus 1 a prime number you are given less than 10 and even what all numbers will you start with please tell you will start checking So 1 is not sufficient because at 1 I get prime, at 2 I get prime, at 3 I get not prime. So it is not a confirmed answer. If I look at x is even, I will start with x is equal to 2. So 2 plus 2 plus 1. x is equal to 4. 4 factor is 24 plus 4 plus 1. 29 which is prime and so on. Which statement do you think will be enough? How do you decide that? How do we decide that? I should take more values. So x equal to 6. 6 factorial is 727. Now suppose you don't know but suppose this is also prime. Then what? Will you mark this enough or not enough then? Let us see. What will be 8 factorial? Plus 8 plus 1. Is 8 factorial plus 9. 8 factorial plus 9 will be something like 3x plus 3y. Can I say this? 8 factorial, will it contain the number 3 or not? 8 factorial is what? 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. So 3 into something. And 9 is obviously 3 into something. Can I take 3 common here? So can I say this will be a multiple of 3 always? Multiple of 3 will be prime or not prime? Never prime. Only 3 is prime. So if I take 2, I get prime. But if I take 8, I get not prime. So my answer is, whatever you do, you don't get it. So fine. If you are not following something, please tell me, I will explain it again. Do not be totally surprised by the answers, it is simple, it is ok, I think next time you will know what the traps are. But data sufficiency is full of traps these days, full of traps. Ok, can I say looking at first and second statements combined, what are my two boundary values? Combine the sec first statement and second statement. What are my boundary values? 2 and 8. I should not check all the values actually. I should just check 2 and 8. That is it. I will get contradiction. That is enough. If at 2 it is prime and at 8 it is not prime. Can I say everything is done? Then? It's I tried whatever I could have tried but I am still not getting it. So that is how I should go about it clearly. So, 9th was D and 10th will be which one? E. What did you learn by solving these 10 problems? Where do you think one can fault the possibility? Is it tough or is it tricky? It is not tough. At least that feeling you have that it is not so difficult that I am staring at the problem but I do not know what to do. All of us are into the problem. We are solving it, getting the answer. So just one thing, it is just a little tricky and that can be addressed very easily. Usually in three classes of math, people are able to predict the traps. Before the question, you know, okay, this is how he is trying to trap me. He will possibly laughing in your mind, possibly at that time that, okay, this is the trap maybe. 